Less than two weeks after San Francisco voters ousted their progressive district attorney, a similar recall effort is gaining speed tonight in Los Angeles County. D.A. George Gascon defending himself from critics who say his criminal justice reform policies have contributed to rising crime. I spoke to him about it. Violent crime is spiking on the streets of L.A. Tonight, there is trouble in paradise. Police are warning people about an alarming increase in follow-home robberies. Robberies in broad daylight, heists on the tracks, and homicides on the rise. All amplified on local airwaves as a growing sense of unease grips the city. We met Deshaun Bennett in Koreatown on his way to his job as a security guard. I feel like they're way too lenient. Way too lenient. Some, like Beloved, an artist living in South L.A., feel the rhetoric doesn't match reality. I feel pretty safe. I can walk around here at 10, 11 at night. But near West Hollywood, Elizabeth Buzzini is more worried than ever. I've never seen it like this. I think they feel that they can get away with it. The surge in violent crime and a shift in the public's perception shaking the ground in Southern California. Look, it's horrifying. A troubling reality for Los Angeles District Attorney George Gascon. Is Los Angeles County any less or more safe since you took office? So it's a complicated question, right? I'm, I'm not sure we're safer than we were 20, 30 years ago. If you're looking at what has occurred maybe in the last three or four years, then it's a higher level of insecurity today. Riding a wave of support for criminal justice reform, Gascon took office in late 2020, promising to dramatically remake the nation's largest DA's office, issuing a series of major policy directives aimed largely at reducing sentences and the prison population. Among them, efforts aimed at ending cash bail, largely eliminating the use of sentencing enhancements and a moratorium on trying juveniles as adults. But the rise in violent crime, which began before Gascon took office, appears to have eroded that support. Last year, homicides reached a 15-year high, surging 54% since 2019. We're seeing crime going up in, in many cities across the country. We're seeing progressive prosecutors like yourself under fire. Do you think that that's an accurate representation, that progressive prosecutors equal rises in crime? I mean, here, here's the problem. Some of the more conservative counties here in California have higher per capita violence than we do. But you never see anybody blaming those prosecutors for the increase in violence. Critics blame Gascon's policies for a surge in shootings, including the killings of two police officers this week, saying he prioritizes criminals over victims. Organizers say the recall is poised to qualify for the ballot, and it has overwhelming support from hundreds of his own prosecutors. At least eight senior DAs have sued L.A. County, alleging they were retaliated against for speaking out against Gascon's policies. The dysfunction, the chaos. Including Victor Rodriguez and Maria Ramirez, two of the highest ranking prosecutors to go public with their concerns. Emphasizing that they're speaking personally, not on behalf of their office, they say Gascon's policies are forcing prosecutors into an impossible position. Every day, DAs are walking into court having to make this choice between violating policy or their ethical obligation. This puts a bad name on reform. Gascon declined to comment directly on cases pending litigation, but says voters elected him to set policy for the office. If you can't get through to your own deputies, what does that say about your leadership? Well, actually, to be honest with you, I mean, it's complicated. You have a very strong driving force that is very committed not only to try to remove him from office, but more importantly, very committed to keeping the system the way that it was. While many criminal justice experts say it's difficult to draw direct connections to Gascon's policies, the surge in crime echoing across the country has put intense political pressure on his reform agenda. 
Earlier this month, San Francisco voted to oust its progressive DA. Gascon has also backtracked on some of his policies, allowing for exceptions to his ban on trying juveniles as adults and his directive to seek zero bail for misdemeanors and nonviolent felonies. There's a lot of perception that things are getting worse. If they don't get better, is that all going to come be laid at the feet of, of progressives and criminal justice reform efforts? I'm very fearful that that is happening already. Recall organizers believe they have reached their goal, but continue to gather signatures just in case the vote would be held in November. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.